It's Lazy Bones again. <laughs> We're moving on to our next destination, which is in Arizona. And I've decided, I put my foot down. I'm putting my foot down. Foot's coming down, Mark. Foot's coming down. It's a six or seven hour drive and I'm not making the bed. <laughs> I'm better than emptying a cassette. <laughs> oh. Woo. guys know where to place the utilities perfectly and it's perfectly level <laughs> seen a new hat <laughs> yes it'll go underneath my bike helmet <laughs> and it has a place to put your glasses but uh, yeah but look at the clouds that means we're gonna have we should have a really good sunset and look it should be gorgeous so we'll get back in time for that it's only 335 Okay. Oh, that is one healthy saguaro. By the way, I looked up the rules around e-bikes in Arizona, and uh, they have adopted the rules of states like California. A class one or class two e-bike is considered a bicycle, a non-motorized vehicle. So we're hiking on, we're walking on this trail that bikes are allowed on. It goes up to the trailhead that we wanna do some hikes tomorrow. So we'll probably ride our e-bikes tomorrow. So I don't have to walk down here again. We're having an experiment for dinner. I was taking inventory of all the food we have. We're, we get stuck in a rut. You guys get stuck in a rut when you're camping and eat the same things over and over. So I have eggs and I had some of these, you know, the hash browns that uh, Costco sells, the ones you reconstitute. And so I'm gonna make kind of a hash brown egg cheese casserole in the Omnia oven and we'll see how it tastes. Five eggs in here with a little bit of milk. And I'm gonna use pepper jack cheese because it'll give it a little bit more spice. And as I mentioned at our last campground, we don't have any gas, so we're cooking outside. And John has rigged up a windbreak around our stove. So we'll go see how that works. I thought this was pretty clever. I'm, oh, also I have half an onion in there. I'm gonna saute and then he's rigged up our, that new leveling thing that he bought. It's gonna be the windscreen. <laughs> it's called what? Go Treads. Go Treads is what it's called. If all else fails, we have ketchup. <laughs> ketchup can fix almost anything. hash browns down there and I'm gonna put the pepper jack cheese a little bit of that on top it's gonna to go on there let me get the center dead center right there this is a really great little stove it's so easy to light you just do that you don't have to make matches or anything Get a close up of this tablecloth, too. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> this little piece is all that's left. <laughs> John ate like a horse, but I think I think it could be improved with some green diced green chilies. I think that would make it even better. I just checked the all trails recommendations. We're gonna do the Alamo Trail, which I noticed is not on the sheet that they give you when you come in of trails. So maybe it won't have as many people, but who knows. We're gonna bike over there to the trailhead and then it's just a 3.2 mile hike. 
And when we get back, I'm making chocolate cake. a good trail to have something like all trails to record your your tracks because it's easy to get off of the trail and it's not marked at all I think they're I don't know maybe they've removed the signs because of the burn area maybe they don't want people coming through here but uh, anyway if you have if you have all trails and you track your your, your uh, route then you won't get lost and this thing wants to live it's got still a couple of roots left in the ground and the top it's got some new growth, new branches on the yucca. It's gonna be probably, what do you think, 80 today? Uh, 74. 74, oh. I bet you it's gonna be 80 because there's no clouds. I think Minneapolis it might be 12. <laughs> <laughs> Those poor slobs. What's it taste like? Chocolate. Goes on there. Goes on there. There we go. Into the instant. Go. I forgot I was going to experiment this time and put some coconut in it. I forgot the coconut, so I'm going to add it. You put the lime in the coconut to drink them both up. What's up with that? What's up with that? You put it on half. <laughs> I was going to make a face, and then I realized you couldn't see any of the features anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I want to share a few tips if you're cooking in the small Instant Pot, uh, at least if you're kind of baking in the small Instant Pot. So there's two layers. Ignore the plastic wrap. I've got cake in there still. And just um, use put this together just like this but leave the top one empty and then you'll get the best results that way because the top one never cooks as much as the bottom one because the bottom one's going to be right against the element and just uh, put it into the pan without the trivet because the trivet just uh, well first of all I don't think the trivet would fit with these pans but also it keeps it farther away from that heating element in the bottom of the pan and then as far as cook time Cook time always takes a lot longer than you think it's going to. The bottom cake was done in about 45 to 50 minutes. And then I put the top one in by itself for another 10 minutes or so, but it's not going to be the same texture. Uh, so, but if you have that, pro if you have a problem where you take something out and it's obviously not done, you can put it back in again. So just put it back in for another 10, 15, 20 minutes, whatever it takes. You don't have to worry about that. So those are my tips. Cook it longer than you think you need to and just cook in the bottom pan. We left the park on our bikes and found this awesome bike trail right along the river. What river is this, do you know? Ah, uh, no clue. Okay.
we stopped at the check-in when we came back into the park and asked the ranger about that bike trail and he, he gave us this map. This thing is like over a hundred miles that's uh, separated from traffic. It is a really awesome trail. One more thing I want to share before we head out tomorrow from this spot. Uh, in one of our more recent videos, I was talking about how cold it was uh, and wanting to know what the temperatures were underneath the van. So I have come up with a solution for knowing what the temperature is without having to get out of the van and look at a thermometer. And I want to show that to you. Okay. Gotta find it. Oh, there it is. I found it. <laughs> Ugh, that's strong. Okay, so I got it. So I bought this box and it's waterproof and it's got really strong magnets down there as you can see. Well, you can't see, you can't see strength, but there we go. And inside of it, I put my sensor push thermometer that I don't need in the refrigerator anymore. So I put that under there. So anytime I can just look in on my phone app and see what the temperature is. And I hung it right next to the, uh, which I think it's the gray. Uh, put it back. Remember, oh, here it is. Here, give me the, give me the phone or I'll show people where I'm putting this thing. It's right next to the, oh, it's on the uh, gray tank. There we go. We're on the 50 year trail. I don't know why it's called that. But we were just out exploring because we did 25 miles earlier. We did not do the loop because it was 10 miles to get to the start of the loop. And there's no way we could do 75 miles in one day on one battery. So we're out here exploring the other parts of Catalina Park and it's gorgeous up here. Okay, we're good outside, and that was a good stay at uh, Catalina State Park. Three nights was just about right, and um, now we're going to dump the tanks and then head north of Phoenix to visit with my brother for a few hours before we head back home, but with a, a night stay in Quartzsite where we won't have any power. It's supposed to get into the mid-40s, so we'll see how cold we are. Maybe we'll have to get up and, and just head for home, but we'll see. in behind him. Yeah, the trifecta. And this was the lunch special. Oh, lunch special. That looks delicious. It is. Are those pecans or walnuts? This is a pecan. It's a farmhouse and John got the farmhouse with uh, that's their million dollar million dollar bacon. Uh, the real the real question is are we going to drive all the way home or are we going to stay over the night there's an impromptu campground right behind the uh, chiricahua summit Patton general Patton museum and you can camp for free and we're tired and it's windy out which makes the driving a little bit more challenging so we're just going to spend the night <laughs> 